everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today guys, we are not doing the 100 baby challenge. We're gonna put that on hiatus for now because Bo wants to take his life in a new direction. He has fathered a lot of children and I think it's time that he actually raised some children instead of just making the babies and sending them out with the baby mamas and then never thinking about them again. Also, as you guys probably know, the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack is now out. I have installed it. There's a new neighborhood. You can get cats. You can get dogs. You can get other things as well. So today, today... We are gonna readopt a couple of kids. I have two kids in mind that we're gonna get, okay? They're very special children who came to me completely by chance, and um, they have a special place in my heart, okay? And they're also they are they're also in a special place right now. So let's go get them, and uh, then we'll go get them a nice pet. Mama, Papa, it's me, your son, Bo. I've finally come home. By the way, thanks for taking care of my kids. <laughs> Two of them anyway. They're not taking care of all of them. We are gonna be readopting Ronnie and Donnie. Do you remember Ronnie and Donnie? One of them was a, a, a half alien, half human baby, and the other one was a psychotic, half human, half alien baby. I'm not actually sure which is which right now, guys. This is Ronald right here, and he's just thinking about the old iPad. You're too young to be using an iPad. All right, they're not good for your mental development, son. And you're gonna learn that the hard way when I adopt you, cause you ain't getting none of that shit. And right over here around the corner, standing up looking really awkward. You know, I don't, what's he doing? Just chilling, he's just chilling. That is Donnie. So Ronnie and Donnie are gonna be adopted by me and they're gonna be given their human forms, obviously, cause that'd be kind of nice. And uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna raise them. All right, and we're gonna, they're gonna have so much fun. They're gonna have so much fun with their new cat or dog or whatever. We're gonna see, I don't really know how it works. I don't know how to get a pet right now. So if you don't recall guys, Bo walked outside one day, got abducted by aliens, came home, he was pregnant, and then he had twins. One of them had blood all over his face and it was kind of freaky. That's gone now. I'm not even sure which of the kids it was, but one of them had some messed up shit going on. I'm sure he still got those issues. <laughs> and I took them and I and I told them to go live with um with Bo's parents, you know, because these are special kids. You don't just you don't just toss those kids away. Plus they don't have any moms. You know, they, they, they don't have a mom, they just got they just got me. Their mom is a senior pollination technician and I don't think it's even possible to meet that person. So, I thought since they are half human, half alien and my mom is half human, half alien, they'd be great to carry on the hobo name. All right, so we, yeah, we gotta give them, we gotta give them their human forms because they're not gonna be fitting in too well walking around with those pointy ears and shit. So, uh, hmm, what can I do? I guess I gotta adopt them first. I'll adopt them first, all right? Hey, Dad, how's it going, dude? Let me, let me come over here for a second. I wanna come sit with you for a minute, all right? I just wanna watch some TV with you, bro. Oh, jeez, oh, God, wow. Well, I, I got your message loud and clear. See you later. Can't, uh -huh, what, uh, what? oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Well, now I got all these mixed feelings, Dad. Oh, man, you're really, you're really jerking those tears, man. Oh, God. I thought, I thought you didn't love me anymore, Papa, but it turns out you just wanted to get off the couch so you could give your little boy a hug. All right, anyway, see you later. That's it. All right, so this is the easiest way to do this, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and say Donald Hobo and Ronald Hobo. You're coming with me and done. They have been adopted. Go me. Ronnie, Donnie, welcome to your brand new home. Home, what the hell is this shit right here? Oh my god, I got I got a lot of work to do guys. So I got the I got the parenting pack and 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 I obviously got the cats and dogs and I'm gonna have a lot of stuff going on here, okay? This kid doesn't have good conflict resolution or empathy. I don't I'm not surprised, okay? <laughs> if you're a psychopath, you don't tend to have much of that. What about uh, the other guy? Uh, how's he doing? Okay, he's a little bit better overall. That's cool, that's cool. Look, I'm sure I can raise kids, right? And pfft, it can't be too hard to do. We should probably get them a room though, eh? Kids, I'm gonna make you the flyest place to sleep. 
oh, let's go for a kid's room, like a pre-made kid's room kind of thing, you know? And I'll just make it my own. So, uh, um, no, 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 no. I need a place where a kid can sleep. You gotta get a nice little cute, I guess you could call that cute. I don't know, it's kind of weird. We gotta get one of those for him as well, okay? Bam, and then we need to, uh, we need to get those walls looking nice and child, childish. Holy shit, guys, look at that wallpaper. I didn't know they had wallpaper like this. It's got rabbits on it and dinosaur, wait, what? Really? Rabbits and dinosaurs? Okay, yeah, they go together really well. I think we need to purchase some toddler books now, guys. I wonder if you can read to two toddlers at once. That's gotta be a thing, right? How about Baby Bill and the Bobcat? Sounds good. $20? Really as an expensive book? Read to toddler, Baby Bill and the Bobcat. Oh, what? Oh, I can read to two children. Okay, great. I'm sure you can read to a whole bunch of children. I'm sure that makes lots of sense. We still haven't switched their, um, their disguises yet, but that's all right. Uh, let me just go grab that book. Oh, what? what's the negative relationship for? Who are you getting angry with, huh? Okay, yeah, plop your fat ass down there. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, you gotta remember to get the kids while you're at it. Ah, uh, okay. They're out here talking to each other. Now, how is Candy gonna handle this situation? Candy, are you gonna walk through these kids? Well, what are they doing? Oh, she just walks on by. She gives them a little look and keeps going. Oh, you guys. You're crazy, man. Okay, let's let's switch your disguises now. All right, you guys gotta put on disguise self, uh-huh, and disguise self. Swap it on out, dudes. Let's see. Let's see how you look. I've already seen this, but I wanna see it again. There's one fairly normal looking child, another fairly normal looking child. You know, they look very, very similar, don't they? It's almost like they're twins or something. So, we have two children. They look human enough to take out you know, no one's gonna get super alarmed by this. So I'm thinking, kids, who wants to go look for a pet? You want you want to do that, don't you? Yes, you do. Look, look, look at that face. That's that's the face. Hey, hey, I wish I had a pet. I wish there was a pet for me. I just want to see what these kids are gonna do in my house. Okay. Thing number one. First thing he did when he got in here, stuck his hand in the toilet. He's washing his freaking face off with toilet water. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Perhaps your brother's not so much of an idiot. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Probably something stupid, too. Well, not yet. He hasn't actually gotten in here yet. So right now, he's not doing anything. He's just being a normal old kid. He's, oh, he's, he's what's, where are you going? You're not even going inside? Really? Where are you going then? Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, we have like several doors. This house is like a whole bunch of doors on it. What's that all about? Doesn't matter. Keep going, you're doing a great job. Whoa, watch it. Oh, stop it guys, that's too cute. So one kid, he's like, hey, first thing I'm gonna do when I go inside is just be a little shit, you know? The other kid's like, I don't wanna just hug my brother. Oh, this is too sweet. The only thing you guys need now to make this sweeter is a little tiny pet, okay? We gotta do that now. Ah! <laughs> that was that was sweet. What else you got for me? Okay, bear with me here guys. This is my first experience with the cats and dogs expansion pack. I'm just assuming if we go to the to the pet place, Brindledon Bay. All right, it's made for the pets. That's where all pets go to have fun and stuff. We got we got Hound's Head. I don't know what that is. We got um, Delgado. They've got a dog. That's cool. Um, Domus Familiaris. Uh-huh. What's this? Sable Square. The cultural center of the city. Sable Square is ideal for both cats and dogs. These people love their pets so much. They've built a monument to them right in the middle of the town. Oh, okay. So there's an aquarium down here. Whiskerman's Wharf, a favorite hangout for the Bay's feline citizens, which who can often be found climbing around down at the docks. Whiskerman's Wharf is also enjoyed by fishermen and tourists alike. So it's not, it's not an aquarium. Cool. There's a club. There's a bar. There's a crazy cat lady. So we got a vet clinic right here and we got a park. Where do I go to get a pet? Does anyone know how that works? I mean, there's got to be... There's gotta be something. Okay, so I do find it a little bit weird, guys, that there's no, like, place you can go. There's no pet store or anything. I'm not a big fan of pet stores myself, but, you know, I thought it might be somewhere that you could just adopt some animals. But no. I guess we gotta create one. Is there any other way to do this? Can I click on my phone and adopt a pet or something? All right, guys, I got this. So we just need to go to the computer here, and we need to find the adopt a pet button. Where is it? Household? Oh, adopt! 
and we're gonna adopt um you can get you can get dogs and cats and you can also get raccoons and foxes I'm not sure how foxes work. I think they might be dogs. It would be kind of cool to have a fox. So let's see if we can we can maybe adopt one. We might have to might have to create one and create a sim and get them that way. Look, come on. Let's let's just try it. I want to see. I want to see what's gonna be available here. Let's go get ourselves a woofer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of nice looking dogs right here. I don't like any of those dogs. None of them even look like a fox. All right, kids. We're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Just just give me a minute. I'm just I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna make us a fox. <laughs> Oh. oh, stop that. <laughs> okay, so here I am. I'm in the, I'm in the create a pet, because that's what you got to do if you want to, if you really want to customize your pet properly. Now, what's this all about? You got your sitting, you got your cat doing that, and you got your cat lying down. Lie down, cat. Good cat. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay, so there's a lot of options here. We, we got lots of options. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's a raccoon! And then I guess you can make the raccoon look however you want as well. Yeah? You can get a really tiny head. God, that looks really freaking weird. <laughs> okay, time to look at the dogs. Ooh, that's a big woofer. <laughs> I love dogs, guys. I also love cats, but I love dogs more than cats, I think. It's a hard decision to make, because I never owned any cats until a couple of years ago, and now I have three. I have more cats than dogs now. Like, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Some cats ended up in my backyard, and I had to adopt one. All right, and another cat ended up in my house because it was supposed to go somewhere else and it didn't work out and it ended up back in my house and we we're like, hey, let's let's adopt it. It's just, the cats just keep falling into our arms. It's not our fault. I swear. This is what we're doing, guys. We're getting a fox. Look at this thing. So this is a, it's a special breed of dog, just like the raccoon is a special breed of cat. And I want to make this guy look real cool. Mmm. Ooh, actually, that looks pretty nice. Mmm, that's pretty good. You can also have a white fox. I think we need a white fox. I think that's what we need, guys. Okay, so let's let's make this guy look real good. Mm. Oh my god, guys! You can get him all kinds of clothing options. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? Cause I put you in a shirt. Okay, fair enough. I'd probably be pretty upset too. <laughs> look at it. Okay, this is great. This is fantastic, guys. What I'm, what do I want? Oh my god! Look at these options. I, I feel the same way, dude. I think you look pretty damn fly right now. Mm. You know, I think I know what we're going to call this guy. Since he kind of looks like an Arctic fox. Because that's kind of what he is. He's a white fox like an Arctic fox. I'm going to call him Artie. Artie the Arctic fox. Okay. Mm. Artie, you're going to look so good in our family. By the way, let's delete this sim. I can't delete the sim. Yes, I can. Goodbye, sim. We're just having a dog. This is a family of one dog. Man, oh man. Look at the options here, guys. Look at the kind of stuff you can do in this. You can just kind of paint. You just paint the animal however you want? Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna leave him straight up white. I don't think I really wanna change all that much about him. Okay, I think it looks good the way he is. If we click on any of these buttons, he's not even gonna look like a fox anymore. Okay, hmm. I want him to be kind of muscular, not really fat. I don't wanna make him fat. I want him just to be nice, slim, muscular fox. And you can even change the tail if you want. Now, I'm gonna leave all that stuff alone because, you know, as I said, he's a fox. I want him to look like a fox. So we have a fox now. Maybe he changes eye color. I think he needs to have blue eyes. That's that's good. That's good right there. Okay, so we got ourselves Artie, the blue-eyed Arctic fox, and he's wearing a shirt. Okay, because he's wearing a shirt. Just get over it. <laughs> now, what do we want this guy to be? Stubborn? Mm, friendly hunter. He's got to be a hunter because he's a fox. Okay, but what else do we want for him? Well, let's take stubborn off. Troublemaker? Wait, wait, wait. Why do you want to be a troublemaker? Huh? Sleuth. Ooh. These dogs are naturally more curious and like to investigate different objects around the house. Sure, be that. And, hmm, <laughs> adventurous. He is an adventurous sleuth hunter. That's that's what he is, okay? That, that sounds good to me. All right, bro. Hey, kids. Oh, what the hell? You left your iPad on? Dude, just... St stolen from the hobo household. When the hell did this happen? When was this stolen? Did the kid have it on him when he moved in with me? I have no idea. Listen, put that in your inventory. You got something. I got something that you're going to want to see. All right, let's 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 go. Let's get him to come in here. Call over. I'm, I'm just going to just straight up. Can I select him? You can't select the dog. Oh, man. All right, we'll call it over. Here we go. How's this going to work? I think he I think he called out to it. Responsibility is going down. Oh boy. Here it comes. Oh my god. It ran right in. What a little guy. Okay, listen. 
you gotta, you gotta give this guy a hug or something. Can you hug animals? Sometimes they tell you you shouldn't hug animals, like, you know, in real life, but my dogs love hugs, so whatever. Oh, God, guys, the kids are already up to no good. Jeez, this is gonna be so bad. There's gonna be such a handful trying to take care of two kids and a dog slash fox at the same time. Oh, my God. But, hey, let's see what we can do here. Um, what can you do? Friendly, babble, pet, imitate mean shoe and yell at we're not gonna we're not gonna be mean to the fox Artie is a special member in, in our family and we can't just treat him like dirt all right Artie, i'm gonna come babble with you okay i was hoping maybe we could do this not in the bathroom though because that's kind of weird get out of here Artie! Artie! you're calling him over you were supposed to do that from the other room you're not supposed to walk into the room where he is and then call him over that doesn't make any sense we gotta give this guy a pet okay he's a good woofer and he needs to get a little bit of a pet so do that do it for me here we go. Stop walking into him. Jeez, you're so dumb. I don't oh, look at that. Oh, he just gave me a lick. Okay. We have nothing for this guy. Ronald just became friends with Artie. I love that. I love that so much. You see how easy it is to become friends with a dog. Dogs are so damn pure. All he had to do was pet it once, and he was like, hey, I'm your man forever. Well, uh, geez, obviously, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're just looking at a fridge. This guy's like, hey, uh, uh, I'm just looking at a fridge over here, guys. You know, super busy at the moment. Just staring at it. Hey, guys, yeah. We're all just gonna hang out in the bathroom. You know. Don't forget to pet him. Don't forget to pet him and become friends with him. You're not doing a very good job at that. Seriously. Try again. Turn around. Here it comes. Yes! Oh, he's petting it! Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now, let's check and see. Donald just became friends with Artie. Okay. Only one person left, and that's Bo. Bo, you got it. Bo. Bo, listen to me. Something, something you need to know. Very, very important stuff. You're a father now. Like, not the, not the kind of father that just knocks people up and runs away. You are an actual father with responsibilities. You should not be trolling forums. Okay? That's, that's not, that's not okay. You're not even watching the children. They, the children are just down there petting an animal you never even met, and you don't even care. You need to get your shit together. Right now. Oh, don't worry, kids. I'm just, uh, writing some important emails or something, you know. <laughs> Okay, you can you can do all kinds of stuff as an adult. You can train them to speak and lie down and sit and roll over and fetch. Why can't I fetch? Choir's having a ball in the inventory. You can simpsagram them, which is pretty cool. You can get to know, give a treat, offer friendship. Offer friendship. Can I just pet it until it's friends with me? Because, oh, well, wrong one. Can I just pet it until it's friends with me? Because I think that's probably the best idea here. Pet. Here I come, kids. Oh, God. There goes the responsibility again. I am never going to have a functioning household here, guys. I'm going to try, okay? I, I would I would like to kind of play The Sims as it's meant to be played just a little bit, you know? Actually try and be like a decent parent, a decent pet owner. I, I feel like I got to do right by the pets at the very least, all right? They didn't do nothing wrong. They're not psychopaths or anything. Come on. So you pet it. Oh, look at the pets he gives it. This thing is so small. He's such a tiny little guy. <laughs> Artie, are we friends? Are we friends now, Artie? We're friends. See, why would I even bother offering friendship? What does it even mean? Hey, dude, would you like to be my friend? Wolf! Oh, there's the button I was looking for, guys. I just wanted to hug him. And apparently, toddlers can't hug pets, but I can hug pets. So let's hug a pet. Okay, get him. Are you going to pick him up and hug him? Or, or what's going on here? Oh! Oh, look at him! You're holding on to him! Oh, man! This is so cute. He's so happy. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. And now what? Are you just going to keep holding him? Oh! <laughs> so many things you can do, man. Pamper on couch. A good long rub down on the couch. Set aside time for your pet. What else we got here? What's that? Send your dog searching around the house. Ooh. Send hunting. What can he do? We gotta send this guy hunting. We gotta find out what he's gonna what he's gonna come back with, man. Hey, you get out there, dude. I'm gonna step on you. That's okay, right? Where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> it takes him such a long time to go up steps, probably because he's so small. <laughs> Alright, here he goes, guys. He is on his way. I love the pet camera. I love how it gets all down and close with the pet. Here we go. 
pet camera and gauge. Here goes the fox. What are you gonna find, Artie? What, what are you gonna find, bro? By the way, I am gonna give you a doghouse and stuff, all right? <coughs> Artie is a hunter. They enjoy going out to hunt and dig. Look at him go! Look at him go! Don't get caught by Pennywise while you're at it. Okay, he's fine, he's fine. He found a mountain of dirt! Just sticking out like a sore thumb! What are you gonna find, bro? What are you gonna find? I guess he's gonna bring it home to me? Is he gonna like, <gasps> whoa! Ooh! He's got a present for me! Oh! Yay! <laughs> it's wrapped in everything! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at him! Oh, he just did a little dance! <laughs> and he laid it down, and now what? Now he is coming up. Be careful, man. Those slidey chairs are dangerous stuff. He just he just wants my attention. He wants me to know there's a there's a gift. React to pet gift, dude. What are you <laughs> he's trolling the forums again? Bo! What did I say? You cannot troll the forums. You have children now. And a pet. Seriously. Clark what? Sitting Excuse here. me? What are you saying right now? What? Pet obsessions. Like almost all pets already can get inexplicably obsessed about things. Oh, it's gone. Whatever. Okay, you better be saying nice things about this gift. Boy? What? Huh? Huh. What? <laughs> okay, he laughed. That's a good sign. So what was what, what was in the gift? What's what's in the gift, dude? Mysterious box found by a faithful pet companion. Who knows what could be inside? Oh, open it up, dude. Let's find out what's inside of that thing. It's one silent meow ceramic cat. What? Huh? All right. Well, uh, I don't see a ceramic cat in my inventory. I do. I see three cats, but that's Mrs. Meowness. That's not what it was. It was a silent meow ceramic cat. So I don't know what the hell's going on there, but thank you very much, Artie, for getting that for me. You the man. Oh my god. How am I going to deal with this situation, guys? It's a good thing I don't have a job. It's a good thing I got lots of money and no job. Because if I didn't, well, ugh, <laughs> it'd be extra hard. I guess I could hire a nanny or something. Don't make a mess. Let me just let me just teach this kid some responsibility or something. Uh, toddler care. How do I do this? I thought that said give birth. I was gonna say, what the hell does that mean? Discipline recent behavior, maybe? It's gonna be a firm. Tell not to make a mess. I think that's a good idea, right? Just just let him know. You can't make messes, little guy, because that's stupid. Yeah. Well, oh, get over it, you little shithead. Okay, he just, he just got some responsibility. I just went up to, it's going down again. It's already going down. What, why, why, why is this happening to me? St stop that. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy the future episodes with Ronnie and Donnie and Artie and Bo. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.